with tens of thousands of Russian troops within attacking distance of Ukraine. New allegations are deepening concerns Moscow is on the brink of invading its neighbor. We're standing shoulder to shoulder saying there will be very serious consequences if Russia takes this move to try and invade but also install a puppet regime. The British government has accused the Kremlin of plotting to overthrow Ukraine's leadership and install a Russian-backed leader in Kyiv. That's what I would expect as a, as a logical next step in Russian invasion. Ukraine's ambassador to the UK believes it's part of a plan for an eventual attack. They will invade and they will have to establish some, some sort of government. So I'm not actually surprised. British intelligence says Russia has already picked a potential candidate, a former Ukrainian MP who is opposed to the current pro-Western government. On Sunday, he said the idea he would be Russia's candidate for president is absurd, given he was put under Russian sanctions in 2018. As for Russia, the country blasted Britain's accusations as disinformation and said it was evidence that NATO countries are the ones stoking tensions. Moscow continues to insist it has no plans to invade, but with no signs it will pull back forces from the border, the threat of war still looms in Ukraine. To help shore up its defenses, the U.S. shipped more military equipment and weaponry this weekend. After the president met with his national security team to discuss the situation, his secretary of state doubled down. If a single additional Russian force goes into Ukraine uh, in an aggressive way, uh, as I said, that would trigger uh, a swift, a severe and a united response uh, from us uh, and from Europe. Now, the man said to be Russia's preferred leader in the Ukraine, appearing to poke fun at the UK. He posted this photo on Facebook of himself edited into a James Bond poster. Now, the UK also naming four former Ukrainian politicians, it says, have all been in touch with Russian intelligence, all men who have links to ousted pro-Russian president Viktor Yanukovych. Now, the U.K. provided no evidence to back up its claims. Karen Siolin, City News.